Hi guys, Ms. Perkins here. Today we're talking about Module 2, Lesson 27. This lesson we're talking about being able to solve addition and subtraction problems, decomposing and composing T numbers as 1, 10, and some 1s. So looking at this, 9 plus 6 equals black. So we're going to do the, num the number bind strategy with making 10 for this. So we know that we're going to look at the 9 first, the bigger, the bigger number. We're going to ask ourselves, how many does 9 need to be 10? We know that 9 needs 1 to be 10. Then we look at the smaller number, the 6. Does 6 have enough for um, 9 to take 1? Yes, 6 does have enough. So 9, that greedy 9 is going to go to that 6 and say, hey, 6, can I have 1? And the 6 is going to say, well, since you're bigger than me, I'm going to let you have it. So, the 9 is going to take 1 away from that 6, so it can become 10. And since the 9 takes 1 away from the 6, there's going to be 5 left of that 6. So, now we're going to add 10 plus 5 together. So, 10, 5 is 15. So, our answer is 15. Now, this is where our 10 goes in this box right here. And then, this is where our 1 goes in this smaller box right here. So... The reason why it does it like this is because if we look, there's a the 10 is in the bigger box like this. So it's showing that it's a high zero card. So it's showing that it's 10 right here, but that 5 is going to cover up, is going to hide that zero. So it's a high zero card because that 5 is going to hide the zero. So this zero is going to be hidden because the 5 is going to go on top of it. So the zero is under the five. So it's 15, which is one, ten, five, ones. So one, tens, or one, ten, and five, ones. It's basically telling you how many tens and ones there are. So there's one, ten, and, and 15, and five, ones, and 15. Now, let's look at this one, 17 minus 8. So it already broke apart, 17 into 10, 7. Now we're going to take 8 from 10. So whenever we take 8 from 10, we know there's going to be 2 left, because we know that 2 and 8, 8 and 2, making 10 for me and you. We know that 8 and 2 are 10 buddies, so if we take 8 from 10, we know that 2 is going to be left. Now we're going to add our leftovers, which is 7 and 2. 7 plus 2 equals 9. Now we also could have drew a picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, I'm doing too many. I need 17. Whoopsies. Now I'm going to box in 10. Cross out 8. Circle the rest. So there's 2 inside the box plus 7 outside the box. So 7 plus 2 equals 9. So we know that a 9 is our answer. Now, looking at this and this right here, the high zero cards, we know that this big box, this big one right here, is saying our 10, how many 10s. The small box is saying how many 1s. Well, 9, you start by writing the number right first. So, 9 has 9 1s and 0 10s. But since it's zero tens, we don't even have to write the zero. We can leave it blank, just like that. So that we know that the, our answer, 17 minus 8 equals 9. 9 has zero ones and, I'm sorry, oops, excuse me, nine ones and zero tens. All right, guys, that's it for this video.